think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. There's no need for us to rush this through. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much, too much. Me and my brother were like, well, Irish twins, as they say. You know, we was 11 months apart. I walked out and I seen them on the ground. And what went through my head was like, damn, I ain't gonna let my brother like sit there and die, so I did CPR. His, his brother did pass. Um, they took him off life support. It's just crazy, I can't see his face no more, cause like, all of my life I used to see his face. And now, you know, it's just gone now. Being trauma informed is really a universal approach that is safe, that helps foster trusting relationships. I went with my wife um, to Evans' funeral. Seeing him at the funeral made me think about our relationship. I felt like, you know, Dan was pretty lenient with me this summer. He gave me three weeks off, and three weeks was a lot of work. And, you know, he would just call me and ask, like, do you need anything? Sometimes he'll come by and just drop off groceries or send my mom flowers sometimes, too. Like, he was really helpful. It makes us a much richer uh, place when uh, we take into account where people are coming from and what some of their histories might be. It's a blessing to be able to have a job where my full humanity can be expressed and, and when it can be expressed across all these differences. There are extreme benefits to considering trauma and trauma-informed practice. It improves your ability to be a supervisor, a mentor, a manager, to recognize signs and symptoms, to improve your team. Companies that invest in their employees holistically, they, they, they retain those employees, they don't have to retrain employees, the employees are happy, they're dedicated, and, and, and the business does uh, better. My name is Laurel Bryson, and I'm a program manager with the City of Boston, focusing on youth sports, in particular girls. I've been working with Amber for nine years. When she came in, she was really shy. First, I was shy. I'm not gonna lie, I was shy. I wasn't really open like I am right now. Society's kind of jacked up, but in the day, I'm still going through it. I'm, every day, I pray and you know, hope it gets better. And I'm here. I'm 19 years old. I'm really working with kids because kids have a gift, and I don't want them to waste it at any point, at any point in life. Just to watch her be able to develop and what she learned here pass on to other young people that were coming in that experienced some of what she has. Trauma and trauma training is really important because it's a component of thinking about our community as a whole and not just a fraction of it. These kids do, go through so much at home. And coming here, I want them to be free. You know what I'm saying? Just give them that love support that they need because they they're not even getting at home. You don't know. And that's why I love being here because support is just off the charts. So it gives them a comfort level to understand that it's not only them and feel comfortable to a point that they're with others and can seek out help. I think that businesses that are invested in our community have a responsibility to community. First and foremost, like, because I believe this is a social justice issue, like, I would say there's a moral need to have workplaces care about the psychological needs of their employees and thus be trauma-informed. Because once we start to acknowledge that trauma has an actual impact, then, um, then we can really start getting at the root of some of the issues that are uh, preventing young people from being successful. You can't cause I'm, I'm such a dreamer whoa. I believe in these things Well if it's all a dream Then I'm on fire